is finishing this Wednesday as a washout. Rainfall has been on the light side for the city, at least only six hundredths of an inch for the month. That puts us just above where we should be. And for the year, we are actually quite a bit above average, more than five inches. But there's the rainfall, so those totals are going to be going up. Here's Falso service experts live triple top of the radar, and it's still mostly rain, uh, lighter rain. We're not expecting heavy rain in the local viewing area. We've got some right now up towards the Adirondacks, a little bit more moderate rain in northern Oswego County going into Lewis and southern Jefferson County. But it's mostly light, and maybe just a mist or drizzle north of downtown right now. More moderate rain showers from Skinny Atlas over towards uh, Nedro, near just north of Lafayette as well, uh, near the Pompey Hills. So we've got this rain coming in from the west and the southwest. We're looking ahead, finding when that clearing will be coming on in. This is the last gasp of the rain, the last back edge, we should say, and then the clouds there. So they've got sunshine in the upper peninsula of Michigan, and within 24 hours, we're back into that, but it could take a a while tomorrow before we thin out those clouds. I think tonight, though, let's just tell you, you know, what you need to know. It's a great movie watching weather evening, you know, reading a book as well. Outdoor activities hampered with the rain. Sun will come out tomorrow, like the movie says, and then going into Friday, increasing clouds. We've got a big Syracuse football game with Clemson in town, and I think it's mostly dry, a little bit nicer temperatures by then, with the threat for an isolated shower around game time, which is at 7 o'clock, but I do think it's mainly dry. Mainly wet this evening, just about a steady rain, mostly light, more moderate south of Syracuse at 11 o'clock, and that gradually starts to pull away. So this tapers to scattered lighter showers and eventually just patchy drizzle here late at night, as well as some patchy fog. But as far as clearing, there's not going to be much. I don't expect any clearing tonight except for the North Country and then going into the Adirondacks and that slowly presses into central New York. So partly sunny here at one o'clock. It should be a dry day after some patchy drizzle early on and the brightest portion of the day is late in the day with a mixture of sunshine and clouds. Only a few clouds mixing in for tomorrow night. Friday starts off with a good amount of sunshine as you see, but there are clouds back to the west and there's that shower threat that comes in towards Friday evening. So your forecast for tonight. We've got that rain out there this evening. It's brisk. It's cooler, feeling raw. It gradually tapers some patchy fog also. Look for a low temperature of 48 degrees. Tomorrow we go back above our typical high of 62, 64 here. Some patchy drizzle early. It will be a mainly gray start to the day, but have those sunglasses handy. Looks like as we go into the afternoon, the PM commute, you know, the sun's going down earlier now at around 610, 615. So you might get that sun glare as you come home from work on Thursday. If you're traveling westbound, those clouds will give way to sunshine with breeze out of the east at 5 to 15. Friday is my pick day on the seven day forecast. Sunshine giving way to a mostly cloudy sky, an isolated shower towards the evening, but fairly pleasant as we hit 65. That's in bonus territory. Unseasonably warm yet again this weekend. Planning on picking the apples or maybe getting the pumpkins. You might need to break out the shorts and t-shirts yet again. No jacket required. Isolated showers north of Syracuse Saturday with breaks of sunshine, mostly cloudy, becoming partly sunny and then partly sunny Sunday. Showers and thunderstorms look numerous late in the afternoon Sunday going into the evening. It'll be humid and windy, but up to 81. That's too shy of a record. Cooler for Monday. Isolated showers, some isolated showers and wind on Tuesday. Looks like temperatures more seasonable next week. Another nice day Wednesday with sunshine blending with clouds.